Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you another makeup look made in partnership with Rimmel London. I'm starting off by prepping the skin and this is the Pharmacy Very Cherry Bright Serum and it has vitamin C in it. For moisturizer, I'm using the Lancome Hydrazen Moisturizer and this one is supposed to be anti-stress, which is perfect for me. <laughs> After I press that into the skin, I'm using the Milk Makeup Foundation and I saw that um, Billie Eilish's makeup artist used this on her on the Grammys and I wanted to try this out because I know I had it and I never really used it. So this is my first time using it and I really love the way that it made my skin look. Here I'm using one of my favorites. This is the Farsali Rose Gold Skin Mist and I'm just using that on my beauty blender and then pressing the foundation into the skin. For concealer, I'm using the Rimmel London Stay Matte Concealer and I'm using just a tiny bit underneath the eyes to get rid of any discoloration. setting that with the Laura Mercier translucent powder for bronzer I'm using this one by bare minerals and I'm applying this generously all over the face and I put a little bit on the neck as well just to give me a little tan it is winter time and I am super super pale right now <laughs> For highlight, I am using this one by CoverGirl and I'm just using it with my fingertips and then buffing it out with a brush. This is the Rimmel London Wonder Swipe. It's a two-in-one shadow and a liner and the shade is Cool AF. I love this. I used it all over the lid and I just blended it out with my finger. I love this pop of color. You guys know how I love my neutrals, but I needed a moment to have some fun with my makeup. So I hope that you guys like this little colorful moment. <laughs> For mascara, I'm using the Monsoor Big by Lancome. This is probably my favorite lip combination for 2019 going into 2020. I use it all the time if I want to do a nude lip and I just feel like it suits my skin tone so well. I really love her lip products. So um, this is the lip liner in 2.5 I believe and then this is the cream lipstick that I'm applying on top of it and the shade is 2. Like I said if you're looking for a great nude that like matches your undertone perfectly definitely check out her line. And that is the finished look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you very soon in my next one.